Last year, one of the more exciting players who really took the league by storm, at least for a minute, was Ellie De La Cruz on the Cincinnati Reds. Not only was he their top prospect, but he was baseball's top prospect, and his call-up was honestly one of the more bigger, more hyped-up moments in Reds history, and at least felt that way. Ellie is a guy who does everything, hits the ball harder than anyone, throws the ball harder than anyone, and runs faster than anyone. The Reds have a fun, interesting young group of players right now, and Ellie showed some of what he's capable of doing. He didn't have a great year, in fact overall he didn't really hit too well, but he was just getting his feet wet, he did some things to make people excited, and heading into 2024, Ellie De La Cruz is definitely someone people are on the lookout for. Baseball fans in general, not just Reds fans, and for good reason of course. But there's someone else who actually has the chance to be just as good if not better than Ellie De La Cruz, and ironically, he's in the same division as Ellie and is pretty identical of a player as Ellie, and I'm talking about O'Neill Cruz on the Pirates. O'Neill Cruz has the potential to be another Jordan Alvarez type situation considering he was actually originally with the Dodgers after signing an international deal with them, being a part of a trade a couple years later for a reliever. That's basically exactly the same situation. Jordan has gone on to prove that he's arguably the best hitter in baseball for Houston, and Cruz is definitely someone that I at least have high hopes for, even if he doesn't necessarily hit as good as Jordan. Now Cruz, unlike De La Cruz on the Reds, has been around actually since 2021. I mean, I mean, he barely played in 2021, but he played in the last couple of games and did real well, going on to have his official rookie season in 2022 where we really got a taste of what this man can do. In just 87 games, Cruz smoked 17 home runs, drove in 54 runs, and on defense at shortstop, he was just throwing cannons over to first base. It was pretty surreal to watch. He even hit a baseball 122.4 miles an hour the hardest recorded hit in the StatCast era, a record that still stands today and it's going to be hard to break. Well, until he does. It's wild because O'Neill and Ellie are very similar. They're both tall Dominican shortstops. Ellie is 6'5 and O'Neill has him by a couple inches. He's 6'7. They both hit the ball harder than anyone, throw the ball harder than anyone, and run faster than anyone. It's pretty amazing. It's like the NL Central just started cloning this type of a player. When the Cardinals suddenly call up their top prospect, who's a 6'8 Dominican shortstop, MLB is going to have to start investigating. What sucks about O'Neill Cruz is what happened last year. Last year was supposed to be the first full season of O'Neill. Like I said, he played 87 games in 2022, his rookie year, so about half. But 2023 was going to be his statement year. And immediately he made his mark, smacking a home run in Cincinnati off a flaming fastball from Hunter Green. And he continued hitting pretty well until his season ended after he slid awkwardly in a home on a play at the plate, fracturing his left fibula, originally being ruled to miss four months, but eventually just sitting out the rest of the year. One which the Pirates missed the playoffs, so no need to rush him back or anything. So it makes a lot of sense why people have seemed to forget about O'Neill Cruz especially again when Ellie brought a lot of the hype, but with the season almost here, that's where I come in. To remind you to keep hyping up Ellie, but to also wake you up from your nap on O'Neal. He's back playing in spring training healthy and ready to go, and he connected for his first bomb of the spring, and when I say bomb, I mean an atomic bomb, hitting an absolute shot yesterday. O'Neal is by far one of the more fun players to just look at and watch play. The way he moves and plays defense, and knowing he can hit a ball 200 miles an hour off the bat at the plate, it's awesome. I'm not going to come out and say O'Neal Cruz is about to win the MVP award, but I'm just going to say O'Neal Cruz is going to win the MVP award. No, but I do think he's going to be at least really solid of a player this year. Remember, he still hasn't nearly played a full year yet. 2022 is by far his most games played, but his time in the big leagues so far really has just been O'Neal getting his feet wet and breaking into the league. 2023 was unexpectedly cut way short. There's not much that could have been done there to prevent that, but I'm hyped to see what O'Neal Cruz has in store for what hopefully will finally be his first full go at it with the Pirates. I was on the Pirates bandwagon last year, and I'm sticking on it this year even though their expectations seem to be low by most fans i genuinely believe this team can be a contender and if o'neill cruz delivers that belief will skyrocket if you were investing in a player for 2024 put some money in o'neill cruz his stock seems to be low right now and nobody seems to notice him it's like investing in crypto in 2009 so i guess oh fantasy baseball if you're playing that this year draft him that's my expert analysis and prediction i'm no expert and this prediction can very well end up screwing you over but hey i have a lot of faith in o'neill cruz i think he's gonna be a monster let me know what you think thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.